Hello, kindergarten friends. It's Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we are going to do is we are going to measure again. We're going to measure some items, but we're going to be using more than one tool to measure. So we're going to be using two things. We're going to be using some cubes and we're also going to be using popsicle sticks. Because remember, when we're just starting to learn to measure, it's important for us to line things up properly in order to measure correctly. So then we can move on and use different tools like rulers and tape measures. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the paintbrush and then we're going to record or write down what we get in the amount of cubes as well as the amount of sticks that we would need for each item. So I'm gonna try and keep things very quick here. And instead of me doing one cube at a time, I'm gonna have them set up in groups of five so then we can add on what we need. So let's go ahead with our paintbrush first, and I'm going to lay down this group of five cubes. And looking at that, I'm definitely going to need a few more. So now we could go ahead and start adding them on. Here we go. I definitely need more. Definitely need some more. Oh, no, I might need one more than that. Okay. So looking here, this paintbrush needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cubes. So I'm going to record the number ten, one and a zero. Ten is my hero. Now let's go ahead and move that. And now I'm going to use some popsicle sticks. So I could definitely use the popsicle sticks one at a time because they are larger. So looking at that, actually, let me change how that looks. Now, sometimes you are not going to have something that measures up perfectly. So this paintbrush is the perfect example for that. So then we're going to use a word and the word is going to be about. So that means it's not exactly one two popsicle sticks. I could say it's about two popsicle sticks because it's just about there. So I'm going to say about two for my sticks. And there we have it. So notice you need a lot more cubes than you do popsicle sticks. And if you're wondering why, is because when you think about a cube versus a popsicle stick, the cube is much smaller than a popsicle stick. So therefore, you're going to need more of something that is smaller than something that is larger. All right, boys and girls, hold on. Uh, we're going to go with a new item. So hold tight. Okay, we're back, and now we have a new item. We're going from a paintbrush now to a container of glue. So we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be measuring in cubes as well as sticks. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my five cubes, and I'm going to line it up and see how it's going to work. And let's see. Nope, I might need one more cube here. And sometimes even if you need to, you could also layer them one on top of the other so you could see it a little bit better. And I think that will be fine. So let's go ahead and count our cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to record six. Remember with the hoop on the bottom. And let's check out how many sticks we would need here. Looking at that, that one stick is perfect. It's so fun to make a one. There we go. So let's take a look at what we recorded here. We needed six cubes to measure this glue and only one stick 
to measure the glue. So there you go. All right, guys, hold tight for another object. Okay, so now I have something much bigger. You could see I have a book and I'm gonna go ahead and start with my cubes. So I'm gonna layer that right on the book. Remember, I'm always starting at the very tip, very edge of what I'm measuring. I'm measuring going straight up and I definitely need more cubes here. I think I'm gonna take another group of five, put them right there. Oh my goodness though, but I need some more. Hold on, let's see, I'm gonna grab another. I'm gonna to have to go into my yellows. Oof, still not at that top yet. Now it is. Let me turn so you could see a little bit better. There we go. Let's see how many cubes it takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 cubes this time for the book. One and two. Let's check and see how many sticks it takes for this one. Ooh. So looking at this, it's not super, super perfect, but it's really close. I would definitely say it takes one, two sticks to measure that book. So around and back on the railroad track. That's how you make the number two. So there we go. Get ready for another object. Okay, we're back and we actually have a remote here. And let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's take a look at how many cubes we might need. So I'm gonna take my group of five I'm going to line it up here, but looking, I think I might need an extra. There we go. Now it's perfect. Let's see how many cubes we need. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cubes. That number with our hoop on the bottom. And let's check out and see how many sticks we would need here. Now it's not super, super perfect, but it's really close. We would only need one stick here in order to measure our remote. So fun to make a one. Okay, get ready for one more object. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. We are back with our big picture here. I'm gonna be measuring going straight across. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and instead of doing five cubes, I'm gonna have to put 10 cubes together because this is a big picture. So here we go, I'm gonna put my 10 cubes. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna need more than that. Let's see, I might grab a group of five yellows. Oh my goodness, the boys and girls, I still need some more. Oh my gosh, here, let's see. There's another one. Oh, no, I still need another one. Oh, let's see, I might need one more. One more cube. I think that might work. It might be a little over, but I think it's doable. Okay, so let's go ahead and count our cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. 18, whoa, 18 cubes. Remember, it's our teenager. It starts with the one and it's 18. It's my snowman number, one and an eight. Let's check out how many sticks we might need for this one. So, can I line them up. 
It's not super, super perfect, but I think it could work. So we have one, two, three sticks. Wow. Around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make the number three. So check that out. 18 cubes, three sticks. My goodness, what a difference there. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoy our another measurement tutorial. Have a great day and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye everyone.